In this Illustrator tutorial, we're gonna look at the basic ways to arrange objects, shapes, and any text or anything on your document in Adobe Illustrator. So I've got a bunch of shapes out here and we're gonna look at the alignment panel. First off, if I have a couple shapes together and I select them like this just by clicking and dragging, the alignment panel should pop up in your properties panel over here. If you don't see it, you can go up to window, down to align, and that's gonna pop it out on its own. The first set of options here that we have is align left, horizontal align left, I should add, align middle, and you'll see these shapes now align in the very center of themselves, or align to the right. So left, middle, right, pretty simple. So if you want to line up shapes that are lined up vertically, but then horizontally sort of line them up left, right, middle, that's how you do that. If you have shapes that are laid out here horizontally, you can do the same thing with the vertical align top, middle, and bottom. But there are more options in the alignment panel if we click the three dots here. You'll notice we can also distribute objects. So if we wanted to distribute these objects evenly between each other, make the spacing in between the same, all we have to do is click this distribute center right here. Same thing with these objects lined up vertically. We can distribute them just like this. Now the last thing I wanna show you is super important. Let's say I've got this square off here and this rectangle, and I wanna line up this square to this rectangle. What we need to do is change what we're aligning each other to. So we're gonna select both, and then we're going to click on the rectangle because I wanna align this square to the rectangle, and you'll notice how there's a darker blue, thicker blue line around this rectangle now. So if we come in here into more options, you'll also notice this align to area and we have aligning to the artboard, aligning to the selection, or aligning to the key object. Earlier, what we were doing was aligning to the selection. Now, since we've clicked this rectangle and it's highlighted, it changed to aligning to the key object because we made this rectangle the key object. So now we can align this square to the rectangle, left, right, center, just like that. If we had not clicked that and we simply selected both, what would happen is it would move the rectangle and the square. See how they both move to the center? But if I click on one of them to make it a key object, even if I have multiple things selected, I could make this guy the key object and align everyone to him. That's a very distinct alignment option that everyone should know that works in Illustrator. And of course, this works with text too. So if I just type out the word text here, and we scale it up really quickly. Let's say I wanted to align this rectangle to the left-hand side of this text. I would select both, click on the text, now it's my key object, and hit left align, just like that. And I could hold shift and drag him down just to line him up right there. And if I kind of scooted it out just a little bit, I would want to make sure it's lined up again, so I would select them, click, left align, right align, center, just like that, and of course it works the same way, the text will move as well. And if you're centering text, I would make sure you actually center the paragraph options too. That's sort of just a customary thing that I do here in Illustrator, but this is how you can use that alignment panel to align all your objects. It gets a little bit more complicated, distribute spacing, things like that, but I wanted to show you some of the basic alignment options here in Illustrator.